greetings and I hope you are having a fabulous day today. Today I want to talk about how weight loss should not be about losing, it should be about gaining. My name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt, I'm a doctor of physical therapy and a medical wellness expert and I'm here to tell you that weight loss should not be about losing and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that, what is she talking about? If, I, if I'm trying to lose weight, I have to lose weight. It's all about the weight loss. It's all about losing the pounds. Well, I'm here to tell you that's just part of it. But your mindset needs to be about gaining. So many people start off on a weight loss journey and they're so focused on the number. They're so focused on the number that they want to reach. And some of that is okay. Some of it is about shedding the pounds and getting to your ideal body weight. Yes, that should be a goal, but the mindset of getting there should be more about what you are gaining in the process. And what I'm talking about is when you strive to reach your ideal body weight, that means you gain less pain. You gain less force on your body. For every pound overweight you are, it's three pounds of force on your body. When you lose weight, for every pound you lose, it's three pounds of force off your body. So that means if you lose 10 pounds, you've really lost 30 pounds. But what have you gained when you lose the 30 pounds? You gain better mobility. You gain better confidence because you can see when you lose 10 pounds. You can feel that your waistband is a little bit uh, looser. You gain that motivation. You gain healthier options or healthier habits. Maybe that means that you drink water instead of soda. That's a healthier habit for you. So you gain healthier habits. Maybe you can go up and down the steps easier. That is a gain for you. So when you focus on losing something, it's not really as motivating. But when you focus on gaining confidence, when you focus on gaining mobility, gaining flexibility, gaining strength, gaining a lean look, gaining the ability to see yourself in the mirror and be like, I can fit into that sexy dress I've been wanting to wear. That is gaining confidence, gaining a positive self-image, gaining a positive health esteem. What is health esteem? Health esteem is appreciating where you are right now in your wellness journey and knowing that you can make it through the different steps that you need to take to get to optimal health. Health esteem is feeling good about yourself in the process of building healthy habits. So when you say, I want to lose 30 pounds, okay, that's just a number, right? But what you need to focus on and what I encourage you to focus on is that when I lose 30 pounds, what does that actually mean? What is that actually going to do for me? How is that going to make me feel? Let's equate that. I said, if you lost 10 pounds, you'd lose 30 pounds of force off your body. Well, if you lost 30 pounds, you'd lose 90 pounds of force off your body. Do you think that you would move easier? Do you think that your endurance and your stamina and your energy would just skyrocket? Because you're not carrying 90 pounds. I mean, that's a child, an adolescent. That's the size of that person. And if you have to lose 100 pounds, that's 300 pounds off of your spine and off of your joints. What do you gain when you lose that weight? You gain freedom. You gain the ability to sit on an airplane without an extended seatbelt. You gain the ability to sit in a movie theater and not feel crammed. You gain the ability to be able to go up and down the steps and do your laundry. You gain the ability to be able to go on a roller coaster ride because you fit into the seats. These are everyday struggles that people who are overweight or obese face every day. And maybe, maybe 
because of your weight, you are walking with crutches. Maybe you're in a wheelchair. Maybe you've lost a lot of mobility and you're trying to go through physical therapy right now. Maybe you're even contemplating a back surgery, a knee surgery, a hip surgery, because your joints and the little joints in your spine have been under so much pressure and under so much compression from your body weight that you, you're at your wit's end, that you're frustrated and you're feeling like I am in so much pain because my joints are so tight and compressed from the extra load that you are carrying. This is a real thing. This is a real struggle. So when you look at that and you see everything you've already lost from gaining weight, let's focus on what you can gain by losing it. When somebody is overweight or obese, they increase their risk of, a, of having high blood pressure, of being diabetic, of having a major heart issue like a, a heart attack, are you going to wait to experience these pains? Are you going to wait to have to have blood pressure medicine, to have to have diabetic medicine, to have pain medicine and anti-inflammatories? You've worked on gaining the weight and it's not going to happen overnight to lose it. But if you focus on how much freedom you are going to have when you lose the weight, you get a lot of wins in that process. Your blood pressure will start to come down. Your weight will start to come down. Your blood sugars will start to stabilize. They call that uh, type 2 diabetes where it's insulin resistance. That means that your body is functioning at a high sugar level and it no longer recognizes that it's high sugar. So it stops producing insulin, which is your body's ability, natural ability, to release insulin to lower your own sugar. But if you're constantly at a high sugar, that becomes your new normal. And your body becomes insulin resistant. It doesn't release the insulin anymore because it doesn't recognize that there's an actual problem. So what do you have to do? You have to go on medication. When you focus on weight loss, it's hard. It's hard to change how you eat. It's hard to exercise. It's hard to move. It's hard. But when you focus on what you're going to gain when you lose the weight, increased mobility, less pain, less inflammation, increased strength, increased leanness, increased fitness, increased ability to move when you want to move, how you want to move. You focus on these things and all the gains. And what do all of those things equate to? I get to do more of what I want to do. I can get down on the floor and play with my kids. I can get in and out of the car without requiring help. I can walk at the grocery start store without having to lean on the grocery cart. You can do more things. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can do hard things when you think about all the gains that you're going to get from that simple but difficult goal of weight loss. I want you to think about that. If you have to lose weight, whether it's 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds. I want you to join me next month in the dessert challenge or in the fitness challenge. Or if you're all in, do both. Because I'm going to show you how to eat dessert in a healthy way and that you can feel good. And you don't feel like you're having to give up like your sweets and your treats. I'm also going to show you how to use fitness to start to get lean and strong. You can do this. You can do hard things. You just have to put your focus more around what you're going to gain instead of what you're going to lose. If you are interested in joining me for the dessert challenge, the fitness challenge, or both, go ahead and comment in the feed below me 
or reach out to me and say private message me and tell me which one you want to join. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.